yo what's up comrade here in this video i'm going to show you how to design this tenderstorm church flyer you are seeing right here in photoshop so here on this channel i teach how to design flyers and posters from start to finish just like this one we are about to do and please if this sounds like something you are interested kindly smash that subscribe button to be a part of my family here on youtube so without wasting much time kindly go down into the description to download the resources needed to tag along in this video let's rock and roll So we are going to start by creating our new work page. I'll come up here to file and click on new and here in our new document page, I'll come up here and click on print and locate A4. So we are going with an A4 work page. The settings have already been made. Always make sure the orientation is on portrait and resolution is at 300 and hit on create when you are done. So this is our work page we are coming to work on. Firstly, we are going to start by creating our gradient fill for the background. I already have set my gradient colors right here in the foreground colors. So let's get right into it. I'll come down here to this create new fill and click on gradient. So here in our gradient fill, please note the settings. I'm going to put style on radar like this and maintain the other settings like that. So I'll click on gradient and let's set our gradient. So come to the top node right here, click and drag to the top to remove the transparency like that. So let's start. I'll take the left slider and click inside the color like this and let's start creating. So I'll just sample this color from the foreground color. This is the code and I'll hit OK. I'll take the right slider and click inside the color and i'll take the deep color from the foreground color like this and this is the code and i'll hit ok and hit ok from this page and we are done so from here i'm just going to increase the spread so by reducing the angle to 50 degrees and we are good i'll hit ok because we are actually done from here i'm going to bring in the background images so i'll go to file and place embedded like this and i'm going to first bring in this castle image right here in our resources and place it onto the page so this is it from here all i'm going to do is to increase it or enlarge it to fit to the page like this just as you're seeing it so i'll increase it a bit more just like that and i'll move it to the top of the page just like that i don't want it filling all that much this is the position i want so i'm doing it manually myself okay so this is it this is the position i want for the page and just showing you the outlook like that so from here all i'm going to do is to put blend mode on a dark mode which is multiply you can as well take any of the blend modes that suits your eye but then i am going with multiply so multiply it is from here all i'll do is to go to filter and i'll go to blur and gaussian blur because i want to blur it out a bit i just want to make it somehow not all that uh, visible okay yeah that is good so i hit it okay like that so for me i'm just going to show you how the blur is working on our page so this is it this is the before and the after of the blur effect so this is it all right guys so from here all i'm going to do is to go to file and place embedded so i'm going to bring in this side block image right here so i'll place it so it's a png all i'm going to do is to move it to the top of the page like this and hold shift and drag downwards using the mouse so that it fits to the bottom of the page like this from here i will enlarge it a bit more to the sides like this just to get it filling the page like this okay so this is okay i'll hit done because i'm actually done all i'm going to do from here is to make it blend with the background color okay so let's go so all i'm going to do is to select this side block image layer and come down here to the create new field and take hue and saturation so here in the hue and saturation properties i'm going to create a clip mask first by hitting on that clip mask icon right there so from there i'll make sure i'll check colorize so make sure you check colorize and i'm going to set up um the color i want so that it fits the background like that so i'll just um manipulating this um, knot like this just as you're seeing it from there um, when i'm done i'll show you the so these are the um, digits i'm inserting into it so this is it you can insert the same in yours to get the same effect working so this is it we are done i'll close that and bring this guy right to this point so this is the before and the after of it from there i'm just going to give this guy a blur effect which is a side block i'll go to gaussian blur like this and just increase the pixels to 
13 pixels like this okay i'll hit ok and this is how it is working i'm going to hit it so it has just uh cleared the sharpness on the image just made it blurring out just like this it's cool it's really cool all right guys so that's how we're having it okay from here all i'm going to do is to bring in this image to uh, make our background well rich okay so i'll go to file and place embedded like this so i just locate my um resources okay so i'm going to bring in this radar background stock like this just image okay and place it onto the page okay so this is it all i'm going to do is to right click on it and rotate 90 degrees counter clockwise so this is it from here i'll just enlarge it to fit to the page okay just as you're seeing it so this is okay and i'll hit done because i'm actually done from here all i'm going to do is to put blend mode on a suitable one that will make it pop out nicely so from the look of everything color dodge is the nicest one with that suits my eyes so this is okay so yeah this is how the color dodge is working on our page so that's it from here all i'm going to do is to create some dark shade at the bottom of the page so i'm going to take the rectangle tool and create this um, nice rectangle which is very large that crosses the bottom of the page like this just as you're seeing it on the page i'll close this and i'm going to give it a color so i'll double click here in this terminal and sample the deep color from the foreground color this is the code i hit ok because i'm actually done from here i'll give it a layer mask and take my gradient tool i'm going to set my gradient to the basic colors which is black and white so that's it so i hold shift and drag downwards okay. oops sorry ctrl plus z to undo that so hold shift and drag downwards just as you're seeing the line just so that i get it um, covering the bottom which is the sharpness on the background image like that this is cool so yeah you can do it a couple of times just to get it like this on your page so yeah this is the before and the after and the before and the after also on the shape like that so that's it that's how we get it looking so from here i'll go to file and place embedded again to bring in this dotted texture okay this dotted texture like this so i'll enlarge it to fit to the page just as you are seeing it okay so this is cool so let me off the eye and switch it on from here i'll just put blend mode on a suitable one this screen is not working for this so i took um, color dodge for this just to get it popping out like this so it gives it this scratchy effect on the surface of the um, background just as you're seeing it i'll create a duplicate so that it becomes deep like that just as you're seeing it more scratchy like that so this makes the uh, work really really rich if you think it is too deep you can reduce opacity just as i have done i reduce opacity to 40 percent and yeah this is more of the background so i'll group all of it with ctrl plus g or you can use that procedure and name it the background so this is our background so from here all we are going to do is to add the men of god onto our work arrange them and position them nicely and i also teach you how to add the effects onto their faces to make them looking nice and attractive and kind of sharp on the page so let's get started i'll go to file and place embedded to bring in this first man of god which is rexford onto the page he's too big so i reduce the size a little bit just as you are seeing it so i make sure it is well centered from here i'll just give its layer a layer mask and take my brush tool sorry for how my brush tool is going to appear because my screen recorder isn't giving me the brush size on the page for you to see but this is my settings i am going with okay guys always make sure opacity and flow are on 100 percent and take the foreground color black to clean so clean the bottom of this man of god just as you are seeing it and we are good to go from here all i'm going to do is to move him down a bit just as you're seeing it so this is okay and i'll go and bring in the next image so i'll go to file and place embedded and i'm going to bring in this woman of god which is diamond and i'll place her onto the page i'll reduce the size like this and position it right at the bottom and make it look a bit smaller like this okay so this is okay and all i'm going to do is to drag her layer down below uh, that of the first man of god just to get her hiding behind the first man of god so this is okay and i'll apply the same procedure to brush off the bottom like that and i'll bring in this next woman of god which is mavis and i'll apply the same format to get her 
on the page like that behind the first man of god so well from here i'm going to just speed out the rest of the positioning just for us not to waste time okay so i'm doing this last one with you for you to do the rest okay so this is all you need to know to apply them on the rest of the men of god okay guys so i'll position it right here behind the man of god nicely and i'll remove the ruler and just give it a layer mask and take my brush tool and just turn off the eye of the first man of god and brush off bring on the eye of the first man of god and this is it all right guys so from here i'm just going to add the rest of the men of god onto the page just as you are seeing it okay so catch you when i am done welcome from and we are done arranging the man of god so i'm going to select all of them and just group it okay so all i'm going to do is to hit on a group icon there just as you're seeing it i'm just going to rename it um mog which is man of god and press ctrl plus t for shortcuts of that and just make sure to reduce the size if you have to just as you're doing just as i'm doing like this okay so this is okay because we're actually providing space for our text and other um arrangements onto the page okay so this is okay and uh, just managing the page like this is okay so all right we we'll move on so from here all you're going to do is to add the effects to the man of god so i'm going to add the effects to these three men of god or the woman of god for you to add it to the rest of the man of god so let me take you through so go to filter and take camera raw filter and we are going to apply it on this man just as you're seeing it so this is going to load a bit i made it this way for you to see the natural um, activity that's going to happen okay so this is a nat natural thing it's loading a bit more just as you're seeing it okay so here in the camera of future you just increase the features like this just as you're seeing it so that's it just increase it and for the sharpness okay for the sharpness on the image um you only get it on the texture and clarity so as you are increasing the shadows and the temperature and the things and everything um, make sure your key focus will be on the texture and the clarity like this just as i'm doing now for you to get the sharpness on the image like that from here i'll just um manipulate this uh tint a bit to somewhere 50 is okay and uh, you can as well um adjust it later on maybe if you think um you don't like it okay so this is okay and this is going to show right up so this is it and we are good all i'm going to do is to take this woman of god and go to filter and camera raw filter and apply the same edit to this woman of god so i'll do the same thing to this woman of god and the other woman of god which will be the last one for you to do the rest okay so just increasing the temperature the tint and most of the time the contrast is also very necessary in making the work uh, the picture look nice and attractive and also the shadow to bring in more reduce it to bring in more um, darkness onto the uh, image and really cool and as i said the focus should always be on the texture and the clarity like that the texture should always be full and the clarity you can manipulate it to your liking as you increase it and i'll just give it a bit of some saturation too just to get it like this so this will load right a bit just as you've seen it and we are good so i'll apply the same thing to the next woman of god and the rest of the men of god so that's it so see you right up okay so here all i'm going to do is to apply some bit of an adjustment to the camera raw of the first man of god this man of god so all i'm going to do is to increase the tint a bit more like that just to get him looking dark and attractive and nice like this just as you're seeing it okay so that's it i'll close the group here and i'm going to bring in this image from my resources i'll go to file and place embedded and bring in this tender strike image from the resources like this so that is it all i'm going to do is to move it to the top of the man of god like this and just put blend mode on screen just to make it pop out like this 
on the page okay so this is it this is the screen blend mode all i'm going to do is to send it below all of the men of god this is it okay i'll go to edit and free transform or control plus t to shortcut okay so i'll just position it right below the men of god like this so that's it just as you're seeing it all right so all i'm doing is to just make the tender strike right below the man of god which is the first man of god like that from there you give it a layer mask and take your brush to and brush off the sharp edges just to make sure it blends okay with our work and also you can as well clean the parts that is also crossing the man of god on your side okay so this is more like the before and after yeah and we are good to go so I just um take my ellipse tool from here and create this nice ellipse on the page okay before doing this i actually close the tender strike image for a reason so i just bring this ellipse on the top of the man of god just as you're seeing it just for you guys to see so i double click in the thumbnail and give it this blue color and let me set it and show you the color code so i'm going to have to settle with this so this is the color code and that's it so i'll just send it below all of the men of god go to filter blur and gaussian blur so here in the gaussian blur i'll just take rasterize because i won't need it anymore so i'm going to um, increase the radius to 200 just as you're seeing it to blur it out like this from here all i'm going to do is to bring back the tender strike make sure it is right on top of the ellipse and the tender strike image together with the ellipse they should all be below all of the men of god like that okay together with this image i have just imported okay i'll just send it to the top of the men of god and put blend mode on screen for you guys to see before sending it sending it below all of the men of god all right guys so control plus t to free transform and all i'm going to do is to reduce the size and position it right there like this we actually send it below them so don't worry so that's it so send it right below them and i'm going i'm going to um, just position it nicely just on top of this man of god and we are good to go so that's it i'll give it a layer mask and as usual brush around the sharp edges like that okay so this is it i'm going to have to brush off the sharp edges or the light uh edges and the uh, actually where the lights are actually coming from the edges there just as you're seeing it so this is way cool and we are good to go all right guys so that's it from here i'll just take this first one of god i'll go to edit and free transform and i'll hit ok and just tilt him a bit more for him to look straight and standing like this okay guys so that's it i hit ok and actually the uh, loading aspect is because of my machine okay because of my machine my device which is my pc okay it's actually running slow so yeah that's the reason kindly forgive me for that but then we are good to go all right guys so that's it i'll just group all of we have what we have done so all of it i'll just group all of it and just name it emoji together with the um which is the tender strike images we have just imported so that's it that's it so here we are just going to add the names of the men of god i'll take the horizontal type two and we are going to type in the first man of god's name and we'll apply the same format to the rest of the men of god for us not to waste time on writing the names or typing the names of the men of god okay let's just get into business all right guys so this is it all i'm going to do is to type in the name of this man of god right here so just typing in the name like this so from this man of god i'll speed out the rest so that we don't waste time okay so i'll just align it to the left okay just as you are seeing it and i'll take done because i'm actually done from here all i'm going to do take the horizontal type tool again and all i'm going to do is to type in um, his position at the top okay so i'll type in this uh, minister or the means is for the short form of minister like this and i'll give it the font i'll give it a stylish font okay so this is it balmoral d so this is the font and it's kind of too small so i just increase the size just as you're seeing it so that's it i'm going to set up the color for this text like that so kind of yellow and i'll show you the color code when i'm done okay just setting it up and this is the color code i'm settling it with hit ok when you are done so that's it from here i'll just come to my shape tools and take the polygon tool 
and inside the polygon tool you come up here and take sides of three so we're going to create a triangle and take the same color yellow just with just as we created for the text okay and this is okay so all i'm going to do is to take the move to after creating the triangle like this and position it right there at the position at the point where um the triangle is actually pointing at the head of the man of god like that just as you're seeing it so that's it so i just make sure the triangle goes close to the text and that's it i'll group all of this and duplicate it and apply the same effect to the rest of the man of god so let me make a duplicate of this and take the first duplicate and let's go to edit and free transform so all i'm going to do is to apply it to the rest of the man of god like this okay guys so this is it catch you when i'm done all right guys So welcome and for this part of the um, typing you just have to make sure they are all in a vertical alignment just as you're seeing it so I select all and just make sure they are all centered like that okay so I'll take the group so I'll actually group them before coming right here so this is it so I'll go to effects and blending option because it is actually not um, appearing nice all I'm going to do is to give it a shadow for this part of the um, name of the man of God to appear nicely on the page okay we don't want it to be white and on a white background it won't show up nicely so we give it a shadow just for it to pop up nicely for us okay that's it that's it that's all so i'll group all of the names of the men of god together with their positions and i'll name it men of god actually names of mog okay let's box on from here we're going to add the details so i'll take the horizontal type tool and I'll come to the top here, just increase the size of the text like that. I'm going to have to take this font Bastro. So that's the name of the font Bastro and I'll type in this Bash. Okay, so we are starting with the Bash text. So I'll go to edit and free transform and just enlarge it like this a bit more like that and make sure it is well centered. Okay, just as you're seeing it. So this is cool and I'll just go to select and select or to make sure it is well centered and also go to select and deselect to deselect the selection we actually made all right so that's it and all i'm going to do from here is to take my horizontal type tool again and here we are going to just change the fonts to balmoral d all right guys so i'm just going to type in the december so it's more like the december bash like that just as you're seeing it so there's it so the december will be right here and i'll change the color uh, the text color like this to the yellow we actually created like that so i'll go to edit and free transform like this just to position it right here and enlarge it just as i am doing okay guys so i'm actually enlarging it to actually occupy the space right on top of the bash text like that okay just as you're seeing it so i'm actually moving to the left and right with my arrow keys on the keyboard that's why you're seeing it like that so this is cool and we're having it this way so just um, moving it a bit more like that so actually i used this particular font i actually used this font okay which is this font the first time but for beginners i won't urge you to be using more than three fonts so i'm using this font for you to uh, learn from it how to uh, use not more than three fonts on your work if you're a beginner okay guys let's box on so this is it all i'm going to do is to take my horizontal type tool again here we are going to type in the next detail but then we are going to use the font montserrat for the typing so yeah that's it i'll just give it a white color and take the font style of medium italic i want it somehow slanted like this i'll type in the 2022 just as you're seeing it from here i'll take my move to i'll go to edit and free transform so here i'll just reduce the size right click and select rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise and bring it right here 
like that right beside the bash text like that okay so that's it that's it this is the outlook and this is how far we have come and we are good let's continue all right guys so here all i'm going to do is to take the rectangle to create a very nice rectangle right below the bash text just as you have seen it okay this is cool and we are going to give this guy a gradient feel so i'll just go to fx and blending option and here i'll just take gradient to valley so i've already set my gradient please note the settings style on linear angle on zero degrees and click inside the gradient so i'm going to start afresh with you guys okay so i'm bringing this slider here and this slider there so i'll turn it way close like that so maintain yours like that and just click on the left node and just set this color like this okay so this is the color code i'm settling for the left node like this and i'm also going to take this slider and create this nice yellow feel for it like this so this is it and we are good to go all right guys i hit okay because we're actually done and from here you can as well um, drag on the page just to move the feel on the uh, shape like that to the like your liking okay it's really cool when you do that all right guys from here i'll take my type 2 so i just reduce my font size like this just as you're seeing it and take the font style of semi bold italic which is montserrat semi bold italic and type in this detail like this just as i am doing so there's a last day before 31st like this all right guys so i'll take down because i'm actually done and take my move to go to edit and free transform i want to reduce the size like this okay guys so that's it um i think i have to make sure it is well centered on the shape it is on so i'll just increase it a bit more just as you're saying from there i'll take my rectangle tool and just create a very nice rectangle right beside it just as you're seeing it and it's also yellow so you're not seeing it well let me change the color so i'll double click here in this thumbnail and sample this deep color on the foreground color which is that deep code this deep color like that okay so that's it this is all about the bash but then we are not done so all i'm going to do is to take my horizontal type tool like this and just type in the next detail but then i'm going to change the font to bash tool so this is it i'm going to type in the name glory to glory okay so that's it i'll take the move to go to edit and free transform i'll just reduce the size of this uh, text right here like this and just make sure it is centered to the center of the page like that all right guys so I'll just bring the horizontal type tool again and type in with the same font bash tool i'll just type in this x mass like that i'll change the color to yellow so you let me set in this um, light yellow so this is the code i'm settling with and we are good to go i'll go to edit and free transform reduce the size just as you're seeing it so this is way cool all right guys so that is it i'll take done because i'm actually done and we are done with the arrangement of the bash tool which is arrangement of the bash text right there so the simple bash like that i'll group all of it and yeah that's it i'll just rename it so i'm going to name it bash like that so yeah with this we are good to go so from here all i'm going to do is to bring in the wood image where which is also a png image okay and also add some effect to it this is going to make it look nice and attractive to our liking okay so yeah let's go to our resources bring in this wood image and position it right here on the page i will enlarge it like this and position it right at the bottom of the page like that so this is, a, this is how the enlargement is going just as you see it i will enlarge it a bit more just as you're seeing it so this is it so from here all we are going to do is to just um, manage the page as usual so i'm going to select all of the bash text together with the emoji like this and the names of the men of god just as you're seeing it i'll select all of them go to edit and free transform all i'm going to do is to just move it down a bit more just as i'm about to do so this is it just moving it down just to create some space at the top of the page like this just as you're seeing it so this is cool 
um, i'm just managing the page and if you have yours like this thumbs up well done all right guys so that's it i'll take this uh, wood image and i'll go to this create new fill and take hue and saturation i want to give it this blue uh, feel just as we made for the background like that so create a clipping mask and check colorize so just as you're seeing it i'm just going to uh, create this nice blue hue like this just as you're seeing it so just um creating it okay after that i'll show you the figures for you to also insert the same in yours to get the same result okay guys so just as i am doing i'm just uh, manipulating the lightness the saturation and the hue just to get the effect working on the page so i made it this way for you to see um the work involved in making a flyer so this is it like that all right guys so we are good to go just putting that little guy right at that spot like that okay so this is what we are having on our page i'll go to file and place embedded to bring in this wood image i didn't want to duplicate it to confuse you guys so i just brought it in onto the page just as you're seeing it tilt it to the top of the page just as you're seeing it and arrange it there like that from there we are we will apply the same hue and saturation um to this guy at the top there like that just to get it blue like this okay just as i'm doing so i'm creating a different um it is the same blue color ranging okay so yeah we are good to go so these are the figures just insert the same in yours and we are good to go all right guys so this is it so i just uh, reduce the lightness a bit for the down wood like that so just to get an effect like this you have to go through this process so that said all about it uh here and saturation and we are good so from here all i'm going to do is to go to file and place embedded to bring in this logo because we're going to type in the church name so yeah it's kind of too dark okay so we change the color so here in the layer style we just change the color overlay to white just as you're seeing it so this is cool from here all i'm going to do is to type in the name of the church so i'll come here to the horizontal type tool like this i'd use the fault bash tool so that's it i'll give it a white color and i'm going to type in the church name which is simplicity k dot boat all right guys so if you have come this far uh please i would like i would like you to um hit the thumbs up button which is a like button and also hit the subscribe button um because i'll be very happy if you do so all right guys so that is it just select the boot and tilt it like this so that it matches okay the tilting mode of the wood like that just as you said it so this is way cool and yeah i'll just make a duplicate of it by holding alt and drag it downwards the text like that and type in the cable like that um yeah you're good to go i hold out and drag down to make a duplicate and type in the fbs ministry like this just as i'm about to do all right guys so i realize it is kind of not um, in a line okay with the arrangement of the wood so just um, reduce the size and tilt it so that it picks the lining of uh, the arrangement of the wood the off is kind of too much but then we are good to go all right guys i'll group the whole of the wood together with the text which is the name of the church like that like that like that so i'll take this bash group we have just created it okay so not to confuse you i'm just moving it to the top and enlarging it a bit more like that so yeah that's cool so this is it that's it these are the decisions that goes on when you're making flyers so don't be bothered it is cool so from here you take your rectangle to and create this nice rectangle just as i am doing at the top here so all i'm going to do is to create a very nice okay curvy um at the bottom okay curvy style of thing at the bottom so right click and take warp okay so here the warp i'm just going to show you so take this node uh which is a right node move it to the top and bring the left node downwards just to create this curvy node or curvy arrangement right there just as you are seated so this is cool 
and yeah we are good so all i'm going to do is to take this nice uh, blue color so let me set it okay and show you the color code when i'm done so this is the color code i'm settling it with i'll hit okay because we're actually done and we are good i'll create a new layer and take the ellipse to and create this nice ellipse on the page i created the new layer because i don't want it to automatically match down into the rectangles layer right below it okay so that's it so with this guy i'll just create a clever mask of the ellipse into the rectangle we actually just created and stretch it downwards okay just to make it overly vertically like that just as you see it on position it at the top just like that and make sure it is well centered inside the shape it is okay so that is it i'll double click here this time now and give it a deep color like that so that's it that's small of it so yeah i'll just give it a highlight of green and make a duplicate so here i'll just make a duplicate and actually give it a highlight for no reason so yeah this is the reason i'll just give the top one a highlight of red and just give it a white color so all i'm going to do is to move it down and drag its layer down below that of the deep ellipse right there okay just to get it feeling like this so arrange it somewhere cool right there below it and behind it like that okay just to create some space right there okay so this is the feeling i wanted and we have gotten it so that's cool all right guys so just moving it to the top of the page and we are good from here i'll take my horizontal type tool and we are going to type in the date okay the date is actually going to occupy everything everything about the shape right there so this is i just typed in the disable with the font pass through okay and just make sure the spacing is intact i'll reduce the size and position it right here and make sure it is well centered in the shape like that okay i'll take my horizontal type tool again and use the font um montserrat okay sorry this is loading a bit so this is it montserrat i'm going to take montserrat but then montserrat black okay guys the font style is black and we're good so i'll type in the 30th okay so the 30th you just highlight the th and go to the character and just take the uh, superscript okay like that and you get this effect right here all right guys i'll position it so that it be in alignment with the december text just as you're seeing it so this is cool and we are good to go all right guys i'll take my horizontal type tool from here and give it a dark color which is a deep blue there like that and type in the 2022 in a vertical way like this and just check down when you are done from there i'll take my move to position it right there like that i take my rectangle tool from here and create this nice rectangle beside it just as i am doing okay guys so this rectangle is actually going to uh, take a deep color which is the deep color we are using this all right guys so that's it you just have to reduce the size you can also increase it if yours is too small but then we are just reducing it in my case all right guys so that's it all about the arrangement of the date so you can also use this arrangement um, in your next flare design this is cool all right guys from here you create a new layer i created a new layer just to take um my polygon tool okay so that's it i just took my polygon tool to create this nice triangle right there like that so i'm just going to give this triangle this color we have already created it so this is it so all i'm going to do is to arrange this uh, triangle right below um, the date shape like that so just as you see it okay uh, to do this make sure the triangles layer is right below it like that Make a duplicate and set it to the other side just as you are doing it you can also use your ruler or gauge with your eye to make sure that they are actually opening nicely and actually they are in alignment something like that okay so yeah way cool and we are good to go all right guys i realized mine was not um, in alignment so all i did is to move it to the right side a bit more just to get it in alignment and this is no big deal we are good so that's all about the dates and i'll group it and just name it date all right guys we are good to go all right all we are left with is to add the details below but then um i'll create a new layer for now and take my pen tool just to create this nice shape so yeah let's go so i'll create this node right here and create let me zoom out and create another node right here at the bottom 
and just stretch it or drag it to the right side and create more knots around just to create this um, rounded or uh, curvy shape right there okay this is it i just uh, double click in this time terminal that terminal just as you saw okay and i'll set this blue color like this so this is a color code i'm settling with area good to go so yeah I actually use um, a color and i'll just change the color but then make sure they are always in that color field okay guys all right so this is it i'll take my ellipse tool and create a new layer as usual and just create this nice ellipse on top of the wood just as you see this so i'll just double click in the terminal because this ellipse has to get a white color so i'll just give it a white color and we are good all right guys so from here i just create another new layer and take the polygon to and create this nice triangle on the page which you already know how to create a triangle by now okay because we actually created it before and give it a white color so what we are going to do from here is to reduce it a bit more and position it just for it to look like this and we are good all right guys so from here i'll take the horizontal type two just as you're seeing and type in the name of the host like this okay this is rexford o2 killer so that's it we are good to go all right guys so you can select all of it and reduce it or arrange it nicely so that it fits to the center of the ellipse it is on okay guys so this is it i just grouped all of it the host like that yeah for easy identification okay so i'll take my horizontal type tool again and here i'm going to type in with bastro okay but then i'm going to give it this um light color which is somewhere about the blues okay i can also set it up so yeah so let me set it up so that it becomes lighter but then it has to be in the range of the blue like that it's okay and we are good to go all right guys so just going to type in the details that has to be here and we will be good all right guys this is powerful ministry i'll create a new layer and here i'll take my ellipse to just create a very nice large oval like this on top of the administration text from here all we are going to do is to create a clapping mask okay onto the text so i right click and click on create clapping mask from here just change the color to white and we'll be good so this is how you get the effect running on the page so all i'm going to do is to uh, select the administration text and give it a shadow okay just for it to look nice okay just as you're seeing it so i just um, increase the shadow a bit more like this just setting the shadow effect and this is what we are having so that's it you can also maintain it without a shadow and it will look nice like that and we are good to go so this is the wood text we are actually arranging everything on the wood not the wood text the wood image all right guys so just uh, making the wood image um, the hue and saturation i'm just making it dark a bit more so this is the new adjustment and we are good to go all right guys so here i'm going to add the rest of the detail which is very necessary we have to so i'll take my horizontal type tool and just add them just as you're seeing it so that's it just the location which you know the font i used and the text okay which is the location which is the white text i use most rat and we are good so i just grouped all of what we have just typed and we are good to go so that's it you group all of them and i will take the group or select all of them and tilt it so that it is arranged to the alignment of the wood just as you're seeing it the way the wood is tilted the same way should be applied to the powerful administration and the location that's all and here you just take the polygon to and create a nice triangle position it right there to the point where it is pointing at um, the powerful administration text like that and we are good that's all of it and yeah if you have come this far i say well done i salute you all right guys just making an uh, adjustment like that just as you said it so but it is quite the same so yeah you're good you're good you're good so that's it this is all of it and i think we are done i'll close the group like this and from here all i'll do is to take this nice lf2 and we are going to focus on the time so please pay attention to how i'm going to create the time and everything there like that so create this nice ellipse and take back the ellipse tool again 
and after taking it you come here to fail and close this stroke or check it to close it okay so that's it not the stroke actually was the fail so just bring on the stroke and just give it white i'm just making it tick so somewhere about eight pixels it's okay something like something like this is okay on the page and we are good from here all i'm going to do is to create a new layer take the ellipse tool again from here i'll just create this nice ellipse but then it has to get a feel but no stroke so this is it and position it right at the bottom of the stroke ellipse we have just created and yeah make sure it is well centered like that it's so that it's be in alignment with the stroke ellipse like this so this is it from here you add the time text using montserrat okay guys so that's it so this is 3 p.m and prompt 3 p.m prompt and don't miss okay so this is it and make sure they are well centered vertically just as you're seeing it so i'll group all of the time like that okay select all and group it or arrange it just as i'm doing just arranging it just making it a bit small like this this is okay area good all right guys so that's it and i'll group it finally i'll group it and name it time like this all right guys just making some small adjustment right there all right we are done so i select all and just enlarge it actually if you have come this point we are um almost done so i'll go to file and place embedded to bring in um this arrow image okay so i'm going to bring in this arrow image it's actually a um, shape okay in my photoshop which i know most of you might not have so i just uh, saved it and added it to the resources for you guys to make good use of it so that's it make it small and i'll just zoom right inside hold alt and drag downwards to make a duplicate just to make it um two like that and we are good so that's all of it and yeah so make sure it's sort of facing the top like that just as you're seeing it so this is it you are good from there you just press ctrl shift alt e and i'm converting it to a smart object okay and from there we are just going to give it a camera raw filter like this and yeah play with the features and increase the brightness of the colors and you'll be good so yeah if you have come this far again i really salute you well done i hope this video helped you and if it did please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon just to be a part of my family and to get all notifications anytime i drop a new video i'm simplicity and i'm out